Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Blind. Last time, I do not want to continue, I want to load today. <laughs> Last time, I gave in to the the temptations of a ROM and started using save states uh, to get here, to this point in the level, which I did reach without using save states. Holy hell, I've not even moved and I'm getting my ass handed to me. If these guys didn't walk backwards, this would be rather a lot easier. But I guess that's the point. And also, if those Medusa heads weren't like permanently spawning. Go away. God, they're so irritating. Also, because this guy throws battle axes, it just gives you two damn airborne fucking things to avoid. You know what? I've got a plan. I have... Oh my god, I did the wrong thing. I pressed down instead of up. Okay. I have an ingenious plan to get past this, but it will mean sacrificing somehow. Alright, and jump. Take the hit. Run, 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 Oh, it didn't work. He hits me back too far. Maybe if I turn around. Yes. Jump. I did it. I have one hit. No. Well, that's as far as I've ever made it. Even if I was dead when I was there, I still made it there. Good lord, this level is insanely difficult. I can't. I'm, I'm kind of scared of this. There is an enemy bar, so there is a boss. <laughs> not that I would ever expect there to not be a boss in a level, but um. Yeah, this is. Irritatingly annoying and hard. Uh, die. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I am seriously considering giving up on this Let's Play. And just uh, saying that this Let's Play is very unique because I stop halfway through the game. Because <laughs> holy hell, this game is freaking difficult. I didn't really, I, I stopped recording this game at, a real, at like the difficulty curve for when it just gets insanely hard. Can I duck on? I can. Hmm. Well, I've learnt something. Let's try putting it into action with... The Medusa heads make putting ac putting things into action insanely freaking difficult. Because they just own you whenever you do anything. Oh, I put that. Come on, I was over stairs. It's not even funny. Screw you. Go away. Aha. Oh, come on. <laughs> if the Medusa heads weren't there, this room wouldn't be so difficult. But they are there. Spam invincibility! I still got hit. Ugh. Good lord. I can't think of anything to talk about because all that's happening is I'm getting killed and it's pissing me off so it kind of ruins the commentary. It, like ruins things for me to, to think about because holy hell I got past- save state! I don't care! I save stated. <laughs> Run past this guy. I really need to turn around as I hit him. Hmm. Well that's the furthest I made it. Oh come on I save stated in mid-air. As I hit him. Wow. Sure as hell makes my job difficult. You know, the job of not dying. Oh, come on. Yes. Screw it. <laughs> Alright, if this is a boss, then I have to do it without getting hit. Sure as hell looks like a boss to me, because the screen has frozen and there are platforms. And it's the Grim Reaper. Pretty cool boss, to be honest. Okay, there are three sides. Can I destroy them? Would have liked... Okay, there's five, four sides? Ooh. Okay, so apparently this was the Grim Reaper's castle or something. Come on, enemy. You're going to spawn up here. Ha ha. Damn it! <laughs> okay, I have to do this boss without getting hit. Which is a uh, really... Wait a minute, is this a boss? Because there's a door right here. Yeah, it's a boss. And yes, you can destroy the sides. That makes my job easier. Are they just going to keep permanently spawning and I have to destroy them? Otherwise, they won't stop. Because that's really irritating if that's true. Mm, let's see if I can't get some whips off of these candles. Bags aren't helpful. No, I don't think I'm going to get any. Kind of lame. Hmm. Trying to ponder my options right now. Let's take out this candlestick. Bag of money. Heart. Bag of money. Miss the jump. And bag of money. Okay. Die. So yeah, nothing in this room is really that helpful. I'm really fucked, aren't I? There is no way I can do this boss without... Uh, dying or something. It's just that last room. If I can get past that last room without uh, getting hit, then I should be able to do this boss without dying. Unfortunately, I save stated. Literally here. <laughs> you know, let's save stay here so that I don't have to keep walking in. You know, just to save myself those few seconds. If you save yourself a couple of seconds every day, then over a year it adds up to like a whole day. That's the way I think about things. But, ah, oh. 
The site spawned where I was. It's not even fair. No. Okay, I save state. It has the site spawned, so which wasn't cool. I was trying to save state just before they spawned. Okay, he also hurts you. I forgot the sides are already spawned. Hit him. Okay, I'm gonna focus one. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and do this really strategic. Oh crap! <laughs> really strategically. I'm gonna destroy. Oh god damn it! Hang on, these these things drop items, so maybe they could drop um. If it's got a random drop, it, oh my god! I keep like I have to move my hand off of the movement buttons to hit the save to hit the load state button. So I always like do it and then miss my hand on the movement buttons when I go to move again and then I die. But yeah, if these guys, if these scythes, which is a rather difficult word to say on the spot, drop items, they could theoretically drop uh, immortality or you know kill every enemy on the screen instantly items which if that does actually kill every enemy on the screen and not just damage them that would be incredibly helpful and if he didn't have a pause before he whipped this game would be a lot easier because that pause is irritating and that guy bloody goes far so I'm gonna jump mister I'm gonna not jump but I'm gonna hit him haha <laughs> oh, I god damn it you go there. I'll go here. Miss the jump. Alright, you go there. And I'll go here. Okay, I can't even make that jump because he moves so quickly. Alright, I've got rid of every scythe. There is no threat anymore. Damn it! <laughs> they spawn in the most ridiculous places. They spawn at heights where you can't hit them. Hmm. She really shouldn't load state because it makes you lose track of time horrendously so you don't know how long the parts are going to be. What did I do in this part? I think I made it past that last stream, save stated, uh, in a stupid place where I instantly get hit. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take the hit. Go to game over. I'm going to save state here. I'm going to end this part. Good lord. Really never doing a Castlevania game blind again. Holy shit. Hard equals this game. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop playing for a while because holy hell getting pissed off with it uh i'm gonna go do something else i don't know what i'm gonna do um yeah bye bye see you guys next time for castlevania blind